it's time for a minute or three with a double D. Somebody called me one day and said they asked you if you had ever bulldogged off a motorcycle. Yeah, I'd done that. This bull weighed about a thousand pounds when I tried to jump on. <laughs> now, you, you did this off a motorcycle? Yeah, we was, we was getting up some caves there one morning early, going to carry them to the sale for my <laughs> yeah. folks. Yeah. And, uh, for your was, mom and dad. Yeah, we was a little cold and steamy that morning, you know. And, <laughs> and boy down there said, Johnny, I said, we seen you jump off them horses on them cows, and so we just wondered if you could jump off that motorcycle on them little bulls. Of course, you're you're one to take a take a dare. Yeah, so I decided I'd try. So anyway. You're going bulldog off a motorcycle. I got me a motorcycle. brand new little motorcycle now. I had a, I ain't had about two weeks and I had thrown my throttle cable up in a circle because I seen some of them high dollar boys do it on TV, you know. Because <laughs> that looked real neat, you know. Made it look, you know, bad. Throttle cable about yeah. a foot too long. Too long circle, and yeah. it was sticking up in there. Well, I jumped up there so my folks just bought this little Santa Clara True Bull and he was a good bull. <laughs> what? He not, yeah, he had nice little horns anyway and I run in there side him, and he turned to the right, so I seen saw what he's going to do, so I went back around and made me a little circle, come up back side him, and leaned against him, and I just fell over on him, and I had to get off the gas now to reach to the right side. Uh-huh. So I did. And, and I grabbed got, hold of his horn. I grabbed horn. hold of his horn, and he took off to the right, and it drug me off that motorcycle, and, I, and my toe, my left toe <laughs> off my foot, hung my throttle cable, jerked that motorcycle wide open, it run over me and that bull, and we, he was a beller, and I was a holler, and the motorcycle wide open, and every time the rear wheel had hit the ground, it just throw me and him up in the air, and we was trying to get loose from each other, you know. <laughs> And that went on for about 50, 60 foot down through there. And when we finally got apart, he was sitting on his back hocks, blowing steam out of his little nose because it was cool. Motorcycle laid all there and blood running out of my eyeballs and my nose. And I looked up at it and I said, please don't run over me no more. And then, uh, You're talking to the bull, but yeah, time. I talked to the bull. That boy got run down through the face. They said, "Vince Johnny, I did. Vince Johnny, I did." I said, "No, I ain't." But I spoke to me. <laughs> but uh, we'll just leave it alone there now. <laughs> well, did, was the bull okay? No, he's getting up too. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about. How bad is I mean, he done stomped spokes out of my motorcycle now. I mean, no, he wasn't okay. So did you have to retire him on the on the funny farm? Yeah, he's retired. He's gone. After that time? Yeah, he had to go. You mean the bulls? Well, I mean, I called him. a vet in there and down there, and uh, he, he come down and looked at him. He told me, he said, he ain't going to make it down there. He said, he's bleeding on the inside. He said, crippled, you know, broke, broke up. And, uh, oh. I said, well, it's bad. <laughs> well, my mama never was out of town, so I just called my mama. I said, mama, I said, that little bull you just bought, you know? She said, yes, yeah, son. <laughs> I said, you done had a heart attack and died up here. <laughs> And uh, she said, well, you must, he's dead. I said, yeah, he had a heart attack and died. So we just left him right there. What about your motorcycle? Did it ever uh, run again? I never did run anymore. She was done. <laughs> it knocked the stuff off it. I didn't even know it had. A minute or three with a double D.